it's August the 22nd and that means the biggest game of the season is about to dawn for United. It's bigger than City, it's bigger than Leeds, it's bigger than Arsenal and whoever else you want to mention. In fact, it's so big that in the past few years while we've been so bad, I've even become a part-time Man City supporter as I didn't want to see that lot winning any titles. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool ladies and gentlemen. So let's get ourselves to Old Trafford and soak up the atmosphere. But first, let's cook up a bit of grub as I don't want to be ripped off at Old Trafford. And while assembling this burger, let's discuss the team news. Martial not starting is a little disappointing, but it's understandable as he just came back from injury. Likewise, I'm a little disappointed Ronaldo isn't starting as he's the only one that showed a little fight last week. But finally, Maguire being dropped is a huge positive seeing as he has been so abysmal for so long. But no matter what the team is, today is the day to create a rollicking atmosphere and push the team to victory. So we got ourselves down to Piccadilly Station and got on the tram. If you've never been to Old Trafford before, you have three options. You can get a taxi from Piccadilly Station. It's a little more pricey than the tram, but you're not going to be packed in a tight space like a sardine. And also you can get a bus from Piccadilly Gardens which takes a little more time, but it drops you off right outside Old Trafford. And there's a grand old stadium in all its glory. It took a long time to get into the stadium, but waiting there filled me with a ton of joy. I just knew that this atmosphere would translate to the pitch, and therefore we were in for a great time. I don't know about you guys, but no matter how many times you've been to this amazing stadium, it's always special to walk out and see that green pitch. It indeed was a raucous atmosphere and every crunching tackle by Martinez and every clearance were being cheered like goals. The Glazers out chance continued into the stadium. Langer missed this guilt edge chance, but the signs were really encouraging and the team were pressing forward. And then just a few minutes into the game, the team gave us a real reason to celebrate. another disaster like last week it seemed like passing out from the back had been done away with for now the half war on though seemed to be getting pinned in our box a little and we really needed an outlet up front to relieve the pressure at the back right so half time thoughts brilliant goal by Sancho lots of energy lots of passion from the players which is awesome to see we seem to have done away with passing the ball out from the back which is fine for today as we need the points on the board but we're sitting back just a bit too much and we need to get out of our box otherwise at some point Liverpool are going to score but for the first time in a while we're seeing some passion from the players so keep that up and let's get into the second half and at half time this beautiful man came onto the pitch Tony Marshall to be the outlet up front and give us some relief at the back. Rashford was like a man possessed tonight and credit where credit is due, he was brilliant. Go on. Go on. Some brilliant play from Martial got Rashford in on goal. A 
didn't capture all of the footage, but Tony Marshall was brilliantly holding the ball up, up front, and playing others into the game, and rightly so, he was serenaded with his song. Brilliant play from Martial once again. Just to know once again, the atmosphere was completely raucous and corners were being chased like goals. That boy Ronaldo makes England look shy. He plays on the left. He plays on the right. That boy Ronaldo makes England look shy. singing loud and proud and carried the team safely through to victory. Is that the performance that we need to take forward or we do Do we need to start playing more expansive you know football? It, it is what it is. We've yeah. Had a good win yeah. against a massive rival. It's just about buzzing today, isn't it? Yeah. That's what football that's what football's about, isn't it? Well, I'm sure the yeah. Today, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. But going forward we need to start playing more expensive football, but yeah. ten hog. But you can now, do it, can't you? Know, yeah, high. yeah. High. Fair enough. Just buzz about today. <laughs> Come on, United. It's now the next morning, and it's time for a bit of post-match analysis. First of all, props to the fans who created a rollicking atmosphere. I rarely believe that energy that we created got passed on to the players and gave them that extra bit of zip to ensure that they didn't buckle under any pressure created by Liverpool, as we've seen in the past with much lesser teams. A big shout out to one of my favourite players, Tony Marshall, as even though we were the better team in the first half, we were starting to come under a lot of pressure in the last 10 to 15 minutes, as we had no one up front to hold up the ball, and it was him who created that brilliant second goal for Rashford. Martinez, Malassia and De Gea were also solid but it's important to not get too carried away with this result. The main game plan in this game was to sit back and counter attack which we also did a lot of under Ole and at times it worked with him in charge too so we'll see if we made real progress when we play the lesser teams such as Southampton next week. But forget next week for now, let's just savour this amazing result and if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and peace out.